God can only meditate you, your life, your experience as it is or as you imagine it to be. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to make another short video. I think these are good because it helps people to fully digest a single idea without having a lot of different things they have to listen to or maybe having to leave the video because they get busy and come back. Today, the focus is on something that I got after re-listening to some Edward Art Supply Hands. First of all, if you don't know Edward Art, I absolutely recommend you check him out, whether it's on Reddit to read his work or here on YouTube to listen to his videos and his talks. If you're interested in checking him out, the link will be in the description below. But what he said was these simple words which really inspired within me this idea. He said, imagination is your creator. Now, I'm always talking about how imagination is the only reality. Physical life is only a reflection of the reality, capital R, of imagination. But these words, imagination is your creator, gave me a new, slightly different perspective on that. Sometimes we let our mind run wild, thinking and imagining all sorts of things that we don't actually like, or entertaining these beliefs which do not serve our highest purpose or the fulfillment of our desire. Now, if you think about imagination being your creator, God your creator, which it is yourself, but if you think of it this way, then you will be much more careful about what you're imagining and thinking feelingly. Literally, it is creating yourself, it is creating the aspects that are making up your entire world, even the people that you see and interact with. It is so much more than just, oh, it's just your imagination. Oh, I'm going to imagine to try and make things happen. Oh, I'm going to imagine this and that. I'm going to imagine this argument and tell that person off in my mind because it feels so good. No. Imagination is your creator. It is God. And God is meditating you. Neville has said this. He had a vision where he saw that there was a stone. It was all quartz and it broke into pieces, but inside was himself in deep, deep meditation. And he knew it was his true being meditating his physical experience. So what you're experiencing now is actually all within imagination. That means that God, yourself, can only meditate you being as you are or as you imagine yourself to be. I'm going to say that again. God can only meditate you, your life, your experience as it is or as you imagine it to be. Allow yourself to pay more attention to what you're thinking feelingly and imagining throughout your day. All things big and small. Don't be just a hearer of the word, someone that watches a million videos but doesn't actually practice a mental diet that is in alignment with fulfillment of their desire. Don't be someone that watches a million videos and they don't go to sleep imagining good things. They just let their mind run wild with whatever happened during the day because your imagination is your creator. Imagination is God himself. Allow yourself to imagine better than the best you know. And imagine strongly. Imagine often. Allow your imagination to become like a muscle. You train it in the gym, all right? It's not going to be huge and super muscular immediately. But with time, with practice, the more time you spend doing repetitions of imagination, the stronger your imagination will get. And you'll be able to vividly experience the fulfillment of your desire that it may be reflected in physicality. Remember, we're not imagining to try and make something manifest. Manifestation is a natural product, a natural consequence, or a natural effect of what we are thinking feelingly and imagining. You don't have to try to do anything. Just feel into it. Accept it's done. Allow yourself to experience satisfaction prior to the physical occurrence. Because if you're waiting for the physical experience for yourself to feel joy, to feel happy, to feel satisfied, content, any of these things, whatever it is that you're after, then you are missing the mark. You have to go into the reality of imagination. You have to imagine yourself or your life as you desire it to be for yourself to actually experience it physically because you experience it first in imagination and then the sign follows. Remember, signs follow, they do not proceed. It follows what you are imagining. It follows what you are 
thinking feelingly on a regular basis all throughout the day. All your waking hours, you should be on top of your conscious mind, not allowing anything to enter the feeling nature of the subconscious that is not in alignment with your ideal. And it could be anything. Sometimes we turn on the news and we think about the president and what our opinion is of him. I'm guilty of this. So what? I have to imagine better. If I want something better, I have to be honest with myself. Am I imagining them to be the ideal leader of the country or am I simply going along with what the news is deciding to tell me? Be careful, don't watch the news, and watch your mind instead. My website's linked below if you wanna check out my book, Doing God's Work, my specific person manifestation guide, or book one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. There's also a couple free downloads if you're interested in those. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I will see you next time. Take care.